As soon as unexpected power cuts started, the Pucha department faced very big problems and hardships at once, because the electricity could be turned off uh, very unexpectedly at any moment, even while a very important process was uh, going on in the department. As there was no electricity, we were not able to heat up the water at all, and we had to heat the water for the details somehow on the firewood. All in all, there were huge difficulties and hardships, especially because we were not able to offer everything to the deities on time. We have a certain schedule when the boga is offered to the deities, and there is schedule for a cooking breakfast and lunch, but because of the paracat's schedule was disorganized and we were facing delays, we were also not able to cook for the deities and for the devotees the way we wanted to, because we had no electricity to cook. During the first part of the day, uh, our children in Umayyapur learn at online school via the internet. Unfortunately, as uh, the power cuts happen all the time, children don't have an opportunity to get proper school education, for example, to take some tests. It depends on the internet very much. If uh, the power is cut when a child has done only half of the test, the test is not considered to be taken and the child gets the lowest grade automatically. Our daughter used always to get the highest grades at school, but only because of the power cuts she got bad marks because she was not able to study properly, to do the tasks properly and to send them. When the electricity is cut off, we can't give water to our cows prepare food for them, we can't process milk. It creates huge difficulties in serving the cows in general. Water disappears at once when electricity is cut off and we have to go to the river or to the well to get some water. It is also very hard when it comes to washing clothes. The autonomous solar power station which we got is not just a power station. The equipment is geared in such a way that it is the basis of the whole set of energy self-efficiency. We can connect a generator to the controlling inverters which will be powered by bulls it will also be connected to a generator which will be powered by biogas that we get from the manure. Also, there we can connect other sources of energy, and we hope very much that in the near future it will give New Mayapur the chance to be fully self independent in terms of energy, and we will be able to provide ourselves with the energy to the, fur to the fullest. With the help of this power station, we will be able to be punctual while worshipping the deities. The Lord loves punctuality, Krishna really loves it. We are getting back to normal schedule, we can plan. It is possible for us to store groceries as our fridges work. As a result, even if some food is left, it won't go off, and the groceries that we buy will be stored safely. Thanks for the fact that we now have a chance to get electricity independently. Our program for children will be independent from these power cuts. Children will be happy to participate in the spiritual life. Also, their school education will not be disrupted. We are expressing our deep gratitude to His Holiness Srila Niranjana Swami, His Holiness Srila Radhanath Swami, His Holiness Srila Bhaktivedanta Goswami for this example of care. We are very thankful to Kuladri Prabhu and Akshara Gopal Prabhu for the opportunity to manifest this all, for the fact that we can worship the deities, care for the devotees and cows. 
We are profoundly grateful and we feel that we owe a debt we cannot repay to all of you. The only way how we can repay this debt is to try to manifest the same feelings towards other devotees, to bring Krishna consciousness to all suffering souls in this world, so that gradually Lord Chaitanya's desire and the desires of all of our Acharyas will come true and the whole world will become Krishna conscious. Hare Krishna.